Thank you, girls. Welcome back to Friday Night Lights, and we're back with more highlights and scores starting in Crawford County. Let's head to Camber Springs as the Blue Devils tried to knock off one of the few remaining unbeatens in the area. Second half action where the Blue Devils were up eight to nothing. Cochranson's Blake Falk takes the pitch, makes a nice cut, follows a couple of his blockers for a terrific first down, showing off some of that physicality as well. Next play, it's Jack Martinek. On the run, he jukes his way for another big game. And the Cardinals starting to sniff the end zone here. Now on third and goal, it's Martinek punching it in. A successful two-point conversion as well, tying the game up at eight apiece. Next Cardinal possession, and it's Martinek again. Gets the edge, takes off down the sideline. Nobody's going to catch him this time. Gets into the end zone. And that would be a lead that they would hold on for good. Cochranton goes on and spoils this one. They take this one by the final of 14 to 8. Other scores out of town tonight. Sagertown falls 54-28 at Reynolds. Oil City beats Franklin on the road 54-8. Ethan Knox runs for 484 yards and five touchdowns in the Route A rivalry tonight in Franklin across the state line. Connie, Ohio falls at home 49-14 to Slippery Rock. More D10 scores. Titusville falls 56-7 at Hickory. Kennedy Catholic edging Lakeview for their first win of the season, 18-15 down in Stoneboro. Grove City topping Sharon, 32-13. Wilmington, one point better than Sharpsville tonight, 28-27. And Greenville over Mercer, 28-7. A couple games for Saturday. As for the high school, Saturday slate goes. Erie takes on St. Joseph's at 1 o'clock in the afternoon on the road. Northeast visits Mercier's prep up on the hill at Saxon Stadium at 7 o'clock at Mercier University. Here's the local college football schedule for Saturday. Gannon on the road at number 25 Indiana PA at 2 p.m. Mercier on the road at California at 3 o'clock. Edinburgh at Seton Hill at 4 p.m. In Division 3 Allegheny is home for Kenyon at 1 p.m. And in Division 1 Pitt goes to Georgia Tech. The Ramblin' Wreck at noon on Saturday. Fourth ranked 4-0 Penn State hosting Indiana on Jet 24 Saturday night at 7.30. And finally Sunday's NFL Week four of the regular season features Houston at Buffalo at 1 o'clock this Sunday, Cleveland at Minnesota Sunday at 1 as well. And of course, our coverage from Green Bay, Pittsburgh at the Packers Sunday at 425 from Lambeau Field against Aaron Rodgers and company. Looking forward to that trip this weekend. Day two of the District 10 Golf Championships at the Country Club of Meadville. Action from the first round of the individual tournament and team competition. Corey's Max Rimsis with a great comeback chip shot onto the second green. And then from there, he would convert the par save plus the fist pump to boot. He is tied for second place with a four over 76. Playing in the same group was Union City's Josh James. He makes this putt here, and James also tied for second place at four over going into tomorrow's final round. James and the Bears would capture the District 10 team championship with a 329 total. Over to the AAA group, Cathedral Prep's Brecken Taylor has that putt for birdie able to drop it in, but he posted an 84. Now to the 11th, Erie Highs. Kyle Westfall has this slippery putt for birdie, nearly converts it. He is tied for third at eight over par. In that same group, Meadville's Michael Mahoney, also near the top of the leaderboard, able to make the par putt. He is eight over and tied for third. Staying on the 11th, Joe D'Angelo of McDowell, calmly knocking down the par save. He leads the 3A field with an even round 72, and the Trojans would capture the District 10 team championship with a 330 total. Here is a summary page in Class 2A, Union City winning the team championship, while Sagertown's Dylan Flinchbaugh leads the individual tournament by two shots going into Saturday's final round. In AAA, McDowell edging out Cathedral Prep by three shots to win the team championship, and Joe D'Angelo leads the field by six shots going into Saturday's final round. On the OHL preseason scoreboard, the Otters fall to Saginaw 3-1 in Flint and Kerry Terrence netting the lone Erie goal as they suffer their first preseason loss. They'll take on Flint Saturday to close the preseason as well. In women's hockey tonight, Mercier is dropping a 5-2 decision at nationally ranked Colgate this evening. Vanessa Upson and Lillian Perot each scoring goals for the Lakers in that 5-2 loss. They'll play again tomorrow.